Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and I'll be showing you today another video of how to use the Excel sheets that are available on the website. The file that we'll be dealing with today is the Comparable Transaction Analysis, which is the method that uh, is used for merger and acquisition valuation. It appears in level 2 material under the Corporate Finance section. Uh, we have earlier uh, discussed the Comparable Company Analysis, which is uh, which simply is basically the same step except that comparable company analysis uh, adds one more step to it. So, just a quick summary in order to be able to view, uh, to use it for the file that we are going to analyze. The comparable transaction analysis, analysis in that method, the analyst first defines a set of other companies, recent takeovers, that are similar to the target under review. So, the only difference between this and the comparable company analysis is that the, the initial identification of companies to find uh, their values to calculate their multiples would have to be companies that have been recently acquired. Um, and opposed, and, uh, and like in contrast to what you do in um, the comparable company analysis, where you just find companies that operate in the same industry, and then you apply a target a risk premium to their uh, stock price in order to find the deal price. In this case, you will have to calculate uh, different uh, multiples, just like the comparable company analysis, and then after that, you find the mean or the median of the multiples, depends on the analyst choice. Based on that, you will be able to identify the deal price. Again, the second uh, point here mentions that, uh, that this is similar to the comparable company analysis, except that we use recent takeover transactions, and therefore there is no need to estimate the premium. So if we quickly take a look at the example uh, that we have over here, assuming that the ABC company is trying to analyze the fair value of XYZ, so ABC is the acquirer uh, of a target of which is XYZ which has an EPS of 2.5 and book value per share of 7 in order to term, determine the acquisition price they use the mean values from the comparable transaction analysis uh, method and the analyst here determines that there are two recent takeover transactions for two companies with the following valuation variables the EPS and the book value per share so we have this information, we go to the file that's available on the website under level uh, 2 material and then um, it tells you here that you can use up to 5 companies and up to 5 multiples which is uh, uh, enough for CFA, uh, I think enough for what you see in the CFA curriculum. You click over here and you have in this case 2 companies, 2 valuation variables and we are using the mean we have the EPS, we have the book value per share, and here we are entering the information for the target, so 2.5, 7. We go over here and we enter the remaining information, which is uh, 20 stock price for company 1, 15, EPS of 2, EPS of 1.67, book value per share of 8, and book value per share of 5. And based on that, we have summary of valuation multiples over here, and then we have the estimated stock price based on mean of multiple to be 21.49. So that's the price that we're trying to find. And again, we don't need uh, to estimate a risky premium because it has been already included in it. So that's pretty much it about the comparable transaction analysis method. If you have any questions, please make sure to email me on my website, uh, on my email that's available on the website. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and to follow us on the blog in order to get notified about all new posts. Make sure to follow us on our social network, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram in order to be able to participate in the daily CFA trivia. Thank you all for listening and have a good day.